pump out right down here. That's going to be the entrance to the wellness center. And then we go around to the west side, and that'll be the entrance to the emergency department. drop-off for the emergency department. For our patients and visitors, now the ambulance will come in through the garage and I'll show you that in a minute. So everything on this side of those uh, top of this, one, one is this uh, elevator shaft and the other one is a stairwell, but everything all the way down through here is the emergency department. South if we need to. Right out where that steel is laying, right, you can see it, it's pretty well graded. That's where the hillock pad will be located. And then there'll be a drive that'll come around the back of the facility here for, for deliveries and, and pickups. And pad is for mobile technology, so, and there'll be, a, you know, like we have at St. Agnes, like where the pet scan comes in. Oh, okay. So, what? What we have to do is phase the, the occupancy of this building <clears throat> and, and in order to keep the existing building uh, service you know, for our customers, we'll probably have a mobile CAT scan here as we desemble and then reassemble it over here so that you know, some of that technology we gotta, we gotta bring in. This is for all of the and we still wait for some electrical to installed in there. So the medical imaging department will go all the way up to the edge of that and open square where it's not poured. Then there'll be a main corner going through into the ER, back into the part of the facility. In this area right here will be the conference rooms. Some of them will be over here and then a lot of the support services will be back here. PBS, uh, time services, IT. All the conduit stuff up here, this is where the main power is going to come into the facility. This will be our electrical transformer room. There will be a, a transformer on the outside of the building set up frame. And that's where Alliant Energy will feed. And then we'll take it from there and bring it inside. So there will be a lot of electrical distribution and transformers in this room right here. This is a fire rate of So what I'm saying is, our locations will be in here. And our medications will be in this part of the building. Again, you see that little pop-up right here on the structure. That's, they'll put another slope, slope roof on that structure to help. It's kind of like a tower effect, and that, that'll be the main entrance for the public to come into the Weldon Center. One of 
of our milestones is uh, we're going to try to get this whole structure enclosed before the snow flies. And then we can start heating inside and then we'll do a lot of the, the studying and the drywall will come real fast after that. We'll do a lot of roughings. Uh, we've got the state of Wisconsin coming to do a, uh, an inspection in the middle of October, I believe. And that's it's usually a life safety inspection. So he's going to be looking at all of the fireproofing that we do. All the steel has to be fireproof and they spray it on. And it has to be mixed a certain thickness to get a two hour rating. So um, that, that'll be coming. That's really, and then the next thing will be to get the roof on and get the equipment set on the roof so they can start all the duct work. If you notice none of the tin has been set yet. <clears throat> so that'll be another milestone or a critical path for us. And that'll take us right into the new year. None of the grading for like the parking or even Parkside Street won't be completed until probably next summer. We didn't want to complete Parkside because of uh, all the construction traffic. You can yeah. see what's going on here, all the semis. We didn't want to tear it yeah. up. So we'll do all that along with, with the blacktop and surfacing for the parking lot. Spring to summerish. The gift shop will be over here. Consultant to help us design the kitchen and the restaurant areas. So 